Big trouble for Bruno Mars, guys. Big trouble for Bruno Mars. Unfortunately, a 38 years old superstar, very, very well known superstar. Just in case you don't know him, go and Google him, Bruno Mars. And most definitely, you may have come across one of his songs, even if you do not know his face. Just go and Google him. 38 years old. Well, guess what? This guy is in 15 million US dollars gambling debt. 50 million US dollars gambling debt. I bet this casino love to have him because they know most, most certainly they will definitely find a way to pay because these casinos, the bosses, they do not play. Apparently, they are into drugs, you know, laundry and so many other stuff. So Bruno Mars, the last people that you should be owing debt are the casinos. Come on. But this man just... Unfortunately, this is not the first time he's talking about it. He has openly admitted that he has a gambling problem. And he has taken a toll on him. Well, according to the news, they said Bruno Mars owns millions to the MGM an unnamed source told News Nation basically MGM basically owned him. The source estimated that Mars owned as much as 15 million US dollars to MGM. He reportedly take in 19 million annually as part of his deal with the casino. But after tax, it just barely cover the money homes. Mars has spoken about his affinity for gambling in the past media interview, revealing that he visited his first casino at 19 years old and as a still unknown musician cover his rent by playing cards. Mars residence at Park MGM resumed in June and tickets are available for passage here. But guess what? <laughs> so since he's owing 15 million US dollars to uh to the casino, you know what the casino came about? They said, okay, you are owing us 50 million US dollars with this your gambling attitude. Okay, you know what? We are going to give you a residency. A residency is uh, having an artist performed in your casino some specific date in a week. Every week. I think every day in a week on specific date. We have seen some numerous uh, artists getting these residency uh, deals. But Bruno Mars, unfortunately for Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars won't be taking home any time. He has... 50 million US dollars to pay. <laughs> and it won't be taking home any, uh, taking home any, any dime. In fact, MGM uh, Casino literally owns Bruno Mars for now until it is able to cover up that 50 million US dollars. And if not, if it continues, of course, you know this casino, they will still allow him to continue to gamble gamble and gamble so that the the debt will be piling up piling up even after paying this 50 million us dollars with his gambling problem he's still going to accumulate another 50 million us dollar debt bruno mars need help <laughs> because this casino will not stop they will entice him to gamble more they will entice him to gamble more and more and more so literally Bruno Mars is not leaving that casino anytime soon. Let me say Bruno Mars will be 60 years old before he will leave that casino. <laughs> Crazy. How can a uh, so talented musician have a gambling problem? It's quite unfortunate though. With so much money, with so much millions of records sold worldwide, arenas and stadiums sold out, this guy has a gambling problem. Well, it's crazy though. So let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage decided to rant. We don't know what prompted her to rant, but according to her, she said, 
2024. I'm working on improving myself rather than proving myself. Read that again. Iyala ye anybody. Okay, what's wrong to our savage? We already having a whiskey going back and forth with this talk. So what is wrong with you, Tiwa Savage? Who annoy you? Then she also said, but no. then she also said, I am rich. Okay, we know you are rich, Tiwa Savage. There's no doubt about that. In fact, I've told so many friends before, so many people that you are rich. Even when they try to box you in that position, in that box of numbers of uh, girls in Nigeria that are doing a show, I always defend you. I know you are rich. You work so hard for your money. And then she goes like this, she said, but no means say, all you legends should ask me for money. We all get the same 24 hours in a day. Go also. Well, I don't know who she's trying to refer to, but you know, these artists just decide to remove some tossiness in, in their heart. It's just maybe they are going through something. Maybe they are in a record studio and uh, they just uh recorded the best verse or maybe they are having a bad time and we just decide to come online to rant it's usual for them that's a normal process if it's going to help them to detox their negative energy why not allow them allow them to rant allow them to talk allow them to express themselves if it's going to you know bring out that toxicity away from them so tiwa Savin, we still love you regardless you're still, I still regard you as a real the queen of uh, Afrobeat, the queen, yeah. That is if she is allowed to be put in that box of Afrobeat, too, because now there's nobody want to be put in the box of Afrobeat. <laughs> we don't know why, we don't know why, we don't know why. So uh, that being said, let's talk about Tyler, the last Grammy Award winner to come from Africa, uh, Tyler, and uh, what? I don't know if you guys know Black China. Black China is a popular socialite in the USA. Well, the mom, I don't know if she's in a better position to tell us about the secret court, Illuminati, and uh, so many other secret court out there. Well, she said that someone like people like Tyler and uh, or some other artists, even like Born and Boy, are like puppets, planted, planted puppet, planted puppet of Illuminati. Check out. Once you the get... same thing I just said. Yeah. I just told you that earlier. Yeah. If I sit here on Street Stars and I'm subliminally just every now and then. <laughs> just every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then. They, they, oh, oh, we got okay. Oh. And they'll contact you. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We got another one on the roster. Let's go. Is that what Ice Spice was trying to do at the Super Bowl? It's not a try. She did. She did. And you know what? And I don't care what nobody say, because I'm always right at the end of the day when it comes to this stuff. Every time. She's an industry plant. It's common. You came from nowhere. Your little no. short. No, <laughs> girl. No, no. Uh. Uh. She, she does seem as when they. You use... just came from anywhere, <laughs> and so is the other girl. Give me sweat, whatever. Make me hot. Not, not Tyler. We, come on. Now. That sounds like just a little bitty girl who just they wrote some songs for. And damn, plants, not Tyler. Plants. She give her, get, watch this. What's this? March, February next year, cold blooded freak. Damn. Turned all the way out. Watch. <laughs> One song gave you a Grammy, but you got people like Angie Stone that been around since I was 10 years old, being a rapper, never got one. Hey. How's that possible? <laughs> well, that is a Black China's mom. And uh, obviously, everybody just have their own narrative nowadays. Even, even myself, I also have my own narrative of how I view things that have to do with uh, this uh, entertainment stuff. And it might be true, it might not be true. It depends on whatever you want to believe. If all those guys are industry plant, 
if all those girls are industry plant but let us be honest with all those signs they do in their music video and they, they start doing some signs that make you wonder is these people on drugs but you don't know they are not on drugs maybe it's something they have been told to always do it just formed like uh it just it's just like a ritual or something but i do not know guys you know i cannot say because i'm not there it's very very upsetting for me to say if it's true or not nowadays because i have not been there i have not seen them so those people who are closer to them let them speak but not us i do not have anything to say about it hmm? i don't have anything at all to say about it tyler now uh industry plant come on come on man tyler is from south africa and uh, i don't know how she gained so much fame but that song water actually blew her up and uh, i know it was because of her tiktok because a lot of people were doing this tiktok challenge and uh and uh fortunately for her the you know success was beside her and she you know she gained a lot of audience during those times so i was still i was still believe that initial story by tyler but this one i don't want to believe it just yet but who am i to rush with her like though I don't know her personally, so I don't know what she has done, what she has been through, and what she's still going through. So guys, let me know exactly how you feel. This is your boy, Adam Slink. Catch you next time. Peace.